the celebration of the Mass. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, which will be poured out for you. Do this in memory of me. With these words, Jesus gave us our greatest celebration of his death and resurrection. With these words, Jesus gave us our source of strength, the Eucharist, which is the source and summit of all that we do as Christians. It is the source of all that we do, because it is here that we draw strength from Jesus in his word and in the Eucharist. Jesus feeds us with his word of life and with his body and blood, so that we might do good for others. It is the summit of all that we do, because we come here to give thanks to the Father for his love, a love that we share with others, and a love which helps us to be good news in their lives. The Mass we celebrate in Lourdes should be the highlight of our day, the moment when we feel closest to God's love, because he speaks to us through his word, and he feeds us with the body and blood of Jesus. For many people, the Trust Mass on Thursday morning is the highlight of the pilgrimage, precisely because it's the opportunity for all of our pilgrims to come together to listen to God, to give God thanks for his love for us, and to be fed for him at the table of the Lord. During this celebration, there are two great things at work. Our great joy at celebrating the Father's love and our willingness to listen to him and to be still in his presence. As we start together for the Trust Mass, we come together from many nations, united in God's love. We come bringing our week together to give thanks and to ask for his continued blessings in our lives. We come to share our joy in song, dance, clapping and laughter. But we must always remember that we do need to be quiet and still and at peace. As the Mass begins, we remind ourselves of our baptism by the blessing of the holy water. We share the sign of peace and friendship and we sing God's glory in our great hymn of praise, the Clapping Gloria. All of this is an opportunity of joy that we are together in the presence of a God who loves each and every one of us just as we are. In the liturgy of the word, God speaks to us of the love which gathers us, the love which was made so visible in Jesus. This is the time to be still, to be attentive, to focus on exactly what the readers are saying and proclaiming to us in the words of the scripture. Let us remember to be still so that we can hear God's word at this time. During this part of the Mass, we also have an opportunity to respond joyfully to the word of love in the Psalms and the Alleluia. We also take a moment to bring our needs and the needs of our world before our Heavenly Father. As we bring the gifts to the altar, we rejoice once more with singing and dancing, giving thanks for all that we are and have. These are God's gifts to us. In the Eucharistic prayer, the greatest prayer of the Mass, we remember Jesus' life-giving death and his resurrection. We give thanks in the stillness of our hearts. Once more, this is a moment to be still, to hear God speaking to us through this prayer and allow his love to flow into us. It is a time to be still. As we receive communion or a blessing, Jesus comes to dwell in us. We should try to welcome him with reverence and love. He comes to make us whole and to be united with us, to give us strength. As our mass comes to an end, we celebrate loudly with great joy the Father's love in Jesus, the week we have shared 
and the blessing of God's presence in our hearts. Sing and make music to the Lord. <laughs>